Hey everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. Today I'm going to do a video slightly different. Um, today I'm going to do an unboxing video. I had a friend of mine send me a coupon to try Misfit Markets. Uh, you might have seen their ads on Facebook or other social media. Uh, they basically reclaim uh, what people would call ugly and just non personable items and sell it f to people who don't mind having something that doesn't look perfect but pay a lower price for it. So I'm going to take you to my kitchen and we're going to open the box for the first time together and we're going to see how good this Misfit Market box really is. So let's head on over to the kitchen. Okay, so here it is. This is the Misfit Markets box. Um, I purchased with my coupon the large box. Retail value of this box is between $65 and $70. Um, but the price of this box um, with uh, their discount is $35. With the coupon, I paid uh, approximately $20 with shipping. So that's what the box looks like. And uh, when it gets close to ship time, after you sign up, you actually get to go through and pick out, out of their selection available, what items you want in your box. So uh, say you like eggplant, but you don't like asparagus, you can choose to have the eggplant and not have the asparagus. Um, you know a tomato and not the onion or something like that so it's quite customizable in that uh, aspect so you're not going to be wasting food uh, because you're not going to be purchasing food that you wouldn't eat so I'm going to go ahead and open this box and we'll see how good uh, these items are um, this is my first box like I said so we'll see how they are And I'll leave a link down below uh, the video so you can check them out if you're not already a member. Um, I know they have not paid any type of promotional fee for this item. I'm just simply doing this because it's a way for people to save money on their grocery bill. And to me that's very important. So I'm sharing this with you. Okay, so first off I really like the packaging. It's in a uh, very insulated uh, cardboard type packaging material. Uh, it's almost kind of like its own little thermos in the box here. So this is thermos-like thing in here. So very nice packaging, really impressed already. And of course we have some uh, pamphlets in here about sales that they have. Okay, so some of the items that um, I was able to purchase were different greens, lettuce, and kale and things. So, this is uh, the lettuce. And you can see that it does have some wilting, some brown spots on it, which is one of the reasons it goes into the Misfit box. But this is still very usable. I mean, there's a lot of good, lot of good parts left on this lettuce. So uh, the parts that are like this, I can actually uh, feed to my chickens. So that'll be like chicken feed. But if you actually have lettuce that's like this, that's uh, wilted but not quite brown, if you put it in some ice cold water um, for a little bit, it will actually perk up and be crispy again. So overall, not too bad for a nice uh, head of lettuce there. Some kale very very nice bunches of kale not bad at all this is a different type of kale a little bit smaller leaf uh, not too bad I mean it's broken in some spots but it doesn't mean it's not usable they'll still cook up just fine some more leaf lettuce and this is the kind that actually you can buy in the store as a head of lettuce. 
uh, growing because it still has the soil plug with the roots. So if you wanted to, you could actually, because this is leaf lettuce, stick this in a pot in an uh, area that's not too hot and in a sun, sunny windowsill, and you can uh, do this as cut and come again. Very cool. I've got two packages of these. So yeah, if I wanted to, I could actually plant this in another pot and use it as a cut and come again. This is a uh, Chinese Napa cabbage, I believe is what it's called. And I can tell by looking at this already that um, they've taken a few of the outer leaves off because it is kind of a small head. But for our family, there's still quite a bit, bit of um, parts on here that are very useful. Celery. Not too bad looking. Another head of the red romaine lettuce. Again, not too bad looking. It is kind of wilted, but you almost expect that. Because you have to remember, these were actually shipped, so it took about two days for this box to get here. So some wilting and things is going to be uh, possible, of course. Got some bell peppers. Cute little buttered nut squash, really nice. And for a small family, that, that uh, is plenty of squash. For a large family, it's good enough to make a side dish. One of my splurge items, I guess I could say, even though it wasn't really splurgy, was uh, deciding whether to get uh, apples or pomegranates. And because I had chose apples from some of my other selections, I went ahead and picked the pomegranate. Really, really interesting fruit. Some nice size uh, Spanish onions. Oops. Another item I uh, saw that I wanted to try because it was unique are these purple sweet potatoes. We don't have them here um, in our area usually. Um, so purple sweet potatoes, really, really neat. Then we got some mini cucumbers. This one got broke during shipment probably, but it's still usable. There's nothing wrong with that. Just uh, rinse it off and put it in a container. And it's still very much usable. We got some apples here. And you can see why somebody might not want to purchase this particular apple. It does have growth marks and it doesn't look 100% beautiful. But this is still a good eating apple. There's nothing nutritionally wrong with this. And then last but not least, I got some red potatoes. Again, you know, there's some growth marks on here, some scuff marks. So some people might not buy this because it, it doesn't look 100%. And that's why Misfit Markets and some other places, uh, Imperfect Foods I think is one, um, they offer this service is to get back these foods that some people just would not buy and sell them to other people who don't care what they look like but that they provide nutritional value. Got some more apples in here. This one's kind of bruised, but that's okay. Um, even if I can't eat it, um, because it is quite bruised, uh, my chickens can. So, you know, that works for me. Um, chickens deserve to have fresh fruits and vegetables as well. Okay, so that's pretty much the Misfit box. Um, I'm pretty pleased with this. Uh, like I said, the retail value of what's in this big box is around $65 if you were to go buy this um, at a store and pay full price for it. Retail value is around $65. Um, I paid $20 uh, with my coupon for this box. Do I think it's worth it? Well, um, with all that I got here, it looks pretty good. And the biggest thing I forgot to mention is most of this produce is organic. 
Now, if you know anything about organic, that means the price tag goes way, way up. So, um, being that most of these are uh, organic, yes, I do believe that this box is worth what I paid for it, plus some. Um, if you're not big into organic, you could probably pay for this stuff on sale at a store for around $35 to $40 if you do shopping really well. Um, but it is what it is, and if I can spend the same amount getting organic food that doesn't look as beautiful as some people would say uh, compared to buying non-organic for the same price, I'm going to go with the organic option because I know that's healthier for my family. So that's the box. I hope this video gave you some enlightenment on other ways that you can make your money uh, really go further and still get uh, food that is nutritious for your family. And I thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to my videos uh, channel. And I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderful blessed. Bye, everybody.